Yo, how you guys doing? Welcome back to another video. Before we get into it, I'm going to show you this clip of the day. Um, check this out. Now, we're on Battlefield 3 back in the days. I'm just tearing up with a shotgun. Check that. That's the fourth guy, fifth guy. I'm kind of spamming here. Uh, that's the that's the sixth guy, seventh guy. Uh, check this out. It's not done at all. Now, on Battlefield 3, uh, this is Rush, and there are three. Uh, there's uh, two teams, obviously, and there's 12 people in the team, and I ended up killing... 10 people out of 12 like I don't even know if it's ever happened where someone's killed all 12 because what are the chances of them all standing in one area so I think that's a really sick clip for clip of the day now to get this video off to a right kick bottom um, I don't know awesomeness check this out a full legend team the first one ever um, so far in FIFA 17 no one's done this yet I have checked and uh, if someone has someone's just uploaded and that's gonna just annoy the yeah, but this is a full legend team. Check this out. They are amazing. I mean, this team is fantastic. I'm so excited. I can't even like get the words out. But um, the, I've checked. Uh, I've pressed the right analog stick for you guys to see each player's prices. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I don't know. I think you guys might like to see that. But George Best, by the way, is amazing. Look at that. Nine games, four goals, six assists. Now that might not sound like the greatest record, but considering you have all these legends, you know, you can't keep feeding the ball to that one favorite player. Deco last year had a great record for me, being a bit of a slow start, but still positive overall with the 59 overall between the goals and assists. Uh, Veron, I really liked him. He was a good uh, all-round player. At first, I, it, he was a bit slow getting into everything, uh, especially from defense to offense, because I know he can offer quite a bit moving up front with his killer long shots. Now, Lalas, for me, has been the best center back for me since he came out last year. Now, Rio Ferdinand has 81 pace. That's more than Lalas, and he is... I have to say, Rio Ferdinand takes it away from Lalas, maybe just, haven't played enough to really judge that, but I think if I had to really go for the choice on the spot, I would have to say Ferdinand, I never thought in a million years I would ever say that, and I'm talking about, I had Maldini and Beckenbauer last year, I had everyone, and none of them were even close to Lalas, he was a cheat code, and I'm sorry, having Ferdinand next to Lalas, destroying in defense, is just, uh, you know what, I don't even know what, I can't find the words for it, like, they are unbelievable, I'll put it this way, my record was negative, okay, I mean, because I was getting used to FIFA anyway, so I started using cheap teams, and I put Lalas in around a cheap team, you know, when I had Pato and stuff, and I started winning again, I genuinely started winning again, now, even though I have a ridiculous team, obviously everyone's gonna be like, dude, how can you complain, you have a full legend team, obviously you're gonna win, but I'm talking about when I had a cheap team with that one defender in there, what I'm just trying to say is, this guy makes a massive difference. Now imagine Ferdinand and him in defense with those two pacey wingbacks, Zanetti and Carlos. This team is ridiculous. It's not one of those typical squad builders, again, where you guys will try to make it. It's just for fun. There's always going to be an expensive one, then a cheap one, expensive one, and a cheap one. But yeah, as you can see, I also did this Sterling uh, challenge and Giovinco. I'm still contemplating whether to go for Jonas. Maybe I could do a squad builder on that. But yeah, uh, you guys got involved in the comment section for the last squad builder. Um, uh, most of you said I think 25 to 100. I don't think we really crossed that. So I'm thinking about just doing 50k, 75k, and 100k. So three squad builders for you. I've been grinding those videos out uh, for you guys because I really enjoy it. But yeah, here's the full legend team in action. First game is not the greatest against uh, quite a few non-rares. But like I said, it's quite early into FIFA. So the teams aren't going to be battle of expensive team standard. But I got a bit of lag there. I don't know why. Right at the start of the game, it's quite annoying. But let's talk about the top three players for this team. I'd have to say I was so close to making it top four. Uh, because there's so many sick players, but I have to say him, George Best, that's a fantastic goal there. I definitely have to say he's top three, not just top three, he's the first place out of the three, for sure. Second, I'd have to say Deco, one of my favorite, grabbing a lot of assists and goals. He's the key orchestrator in the team and in midfield, that's what I love about him. And to finish it off, I would have gone with Ferdinand, to be totally honest with you. Um, even Solskjaer was a huge fan favorite, but I have to say Veron. He made a tremendous difference. That was him right there with that header. I think he was so important in that midfield, from defense to attack, just supporting everyone nicely. And there again, Schmeichel sh should have done better there. I'm quite disappointed with Schmeichel. Last year, I thought he was great for me. This year, I found him quite poor. I've been using Kaylor Navas for quite a... Uh, a while, I think 20 games at least I played with him, and he has been phenomenal. Literally, he has been phenomenal. Even a subscriber asked me about a good goalkeeper, a cheap one. Uh, I did tell him one of my friends loves Sirigu, but I'd have to say Diego Alves is also quite good. I don't know how expensive he is, probably 3k, but if you have 10k, I'd have to say try and go for Kaylor Navas. He is actually overpowered, guys. I think you'll have to go for that, but um, yeah, I forgot to accidentally turn on the settings there, but Ferdinand scored that, and uh, like I said, Ferdinand is a beast, and he has dreadlocks, so that makes up for everything. 
I don't know why I said that, but yeah. Um, moving to the second game, uh, not bad. Better team now. At least they're all goals. This is just you can't really. It's really f hard to find expensive teams to be honest. But uh, in a couple of days, I will start coming up with more because it gives it searches for uh, people in the Middle East for me since I live there, and there's a lot of people with expensive teams. That's a nice block there from Ferdinand. I've already got one game down from Battle of Expensive Teams. Randomly went into a game with this guy's expensive team, and I know someone who has like eight or nine legends, so I should be getting that done. So get ready for Battle of Expensive Teams. I know you guys love that a lot, so. I'll, uh, yeah, but I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos lately. Subscribe to my channel if you're new guys as well. And hit that like button. I remember when I used to say, come on guys, hit that like button, hit that. But now I'm just so happy making videos again. I don't really care about the like button anymore. It's uh, all about just, you know, doing videos I love doing. Making you guys happy at the same time. Getting you, um, you guys can see how these teams play. Because I know a lot of you guys can't afford it, which is, um, sorry to say. I don't mean to put these up to make you feel bad. I'm, I put these up for you guys to enjoy. So, yeah. Overall, fantastic team. You can't go wrong with a, what, 7 mil team? I don't even know. I never even checked. But, uh, but yeah. Stay tuned for the next video. We're coming towards the end of the video. George Best is wiggling and twiggling there. Uh, definitely a fantastic player this year. He was great last year. Don't get me wrong. But this year, dribbling and pace is just so important. And... He just brings that to the table immensely, which is, uh, yeah, perfect. Here's the top three. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful day, guys. Peace. Uh, I think he was also really important alongside Nzonzi. When Kante moved up, it allowed them to, it allowed him to move up. So these two could have pushed back, um, held back and